MMAweekly.com, Eric Fontanez here with the welterweight champion of the world, George St. Pierre. George, how you doing today? I'm doing very well. Good, good. Big day today. Uh, the UFC and Fox announced a deal that'll get the uh, promotion on a major broadcast network. What are your, what are your feelings on that? Feels good. Very exciting. Give us the opportunity to compete uh, in front of a bigger range of motion. So, a uh, big, bigger range of uh, audience, sorry. <laughs> also, I'm very excited. Good, good, good. good. Now, um, this is obviously going to uh, put, put you on network TV. It's channel 11 out here. So, you're going to be on channel 11 for all the Southern California fans to watch you. Uh, what should they anticipate um, from George St. Pierre in the coming weeks or in the coming months? And I'm, I'm gonna start trading for. I'm trading for my fight with uh, Nick Diaz, October 29. So uh, I'll be ready to go. It's gonna be a good, good fight. Good, good. Now, obviously, uh, Nick Diaz, he's he's a big talker, and he's obviously said a lot about you. Have you listened to anything that he said in the media, or or anything that he's uh, put out I, about you? I said he, I know he says that I was like at one point I didn't want to fight him, but the, the truth is uh, I'm not a coward, you know. I, I never duck nobody. I always fought whoever the UFC put in front of me, and uh, this fight has a lot of pride into it. It's, uh, it's Why a is of, it? a lot of things I've been said, so I don't want you know. I'm gonna put it. I, I put always everything I got, and I'm ready to go. What's the point of pride? Why is this fight so prideful for you? Uh, things that uh, that have been said, said you know, you, you it's something you losing to a guy that uh, that is humble, uh, but a guy that that, that is uh, like uh, disrespecting you a little bit is, is very hard. You know, do, you, so. do you feel disrespected by what he's not? Not disrespect, but uh, yeah, that kind of yeah. I said no, but yes, maybe a little bit because I never I never duck nobody. You know, I'm, I'm ready to fight whoever and uh, they just put in front of me. So. I'm, I'm ready to go. Caesar Gracie um, put it out there as soon as you beat Jake Shields that Nick Diaz would be the one to top you, regardless of what you did with Jake. What do you think about that? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a good match up for me. It's gonna, Nick Diaz is going to bring it to me, and uh, it's going to be a good fight, you know. Standing up and uh, on the floor is very good uh, everywhere, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a good challenge. I, I'm not a coward, like I said, I, I, I want to fight the best guy, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm not a, I'm a, I'm nervous for a fight. I'm scared, but you know that I'm still gonna step in and do whatever I, I gotta do. You know. Does uh, being does being nervous or scared kind of motivate you to, to get course, in there and perform better? Of course, nervous better? and scared is a good thing. You know, it's, it's your friend. It make you you feel more on the edge. You know, you feel like you're able to fall uh, down the the river. You know, so, so it's a good thing. For me. I like that. I like that feeling. Some opinion might say that um, Nick Diaz holds the edge in the stand-up against you. And mind you, he doesn't hit with a lot of powder, power, but, but he, he peppers opponents uh, throughout the rounds of the fight, and that maybe that's going to be the key to taking you out. What, are, what kind of preparations are you making uh, for that type of combat? As I'm, I'm ready to fight also standing up. I, I, I train with uh, a lot of very good boxers right now. And, uh, I'll be ready for this. Uh, you know, and, and, uh, I'm, I'm comfortable a lot with kicking in the kicking department, you know, with my background. And I'm, I'll be ready to go. It's not only about stand up or ground, it's, right. it's a mixed martial art. It's a lot of tactic to it. And uh, it's going to be a good fight. Good, tough, physical fight. That's what I'm looking for. Are you still training with Freddie Roach? Yes, I was training with him yesterday. Yesterday? Yes. Okay. Are, are you continuing to train yeah, with him throughout? Absolutely. Okay. How, mu how much time do you anticipate yeah. spending in Southern California for this uh, fight? Um, I'm not going <laughs> to. Spend much time in Southern California. I'm gonna be in Montreal most of the time, in Montreal, New York. Montreal, New York. Yeah. Okay. Good to go. George St. Pierre, thanks for talking with MMAWeekly.com today, and best of luck in your next fight. Thank you very much.